want to talk for a minute um, about what brought me into this work. Um, I originally actually wanted to go into psychology and thought maybe I would figure out um, all of my family and friends and soon realized that that would, of course, um, probably not happen. And a friend of mine said, you should really take this social work class. And I sat in my first social work class and literally had my jaw on the floor. They made a profession just for me. So thinking about the supportive care needs of patients in rural areas is really um, complex. I've talked um, to many patients and caregivers as part of research and providers. And I've also worked in really rural communities as well as a social worker. In rural communities, there is often a real lack of services. So in an urban community, if we have a person that's really suffering, we have a lot of options in terms of where to refer them to get help. But in a rural community, those options are very if we're looking explicitly at dialysis facilities, oftentimes dialysis facilities in rural areas um, are, the staff there are very split between other facilities. And so the social worker at that dialysis facility might have to go to two or three other dialysis facilities, which means that social worker may only be in the unit one or two days a week. And, ha and having to see all those patients would be very hard. So even when there are resources available, those resources are often already strained. People that I've talked to in rural communities deeply value um, providers that they feel like they can trust and that they feel like is a person rather than an expert. So they want the relationship to feel like it's here rather than here. So for example, it might be um, how a person might place a hand with permission on someone's shoulder when they're upset. I had lots of patients say to me, I just want the doctor to sit down. Sit down and talk to me. Um, a lot of people use metaphors about how important your ears are in listening. Um, and again, these are skills that we use in other areas, but I think they're really important in the rural areas as well. So I think that that social workers can contribute by helping other team members um, use skills and knowledge to address patients that are different than them. Um, they can also um, help team members, you know, and coach team members through some of those difficult conversations and facilitate and lead family meetings as well. So I think um, when the kidney team can work alongside social workers. You know, physicians and nurses and social workers can work together with physicians and nurses being able to really contribute information about the medical diagnosis and social workers really helping people elicit values, helping coach patients on how do I talk to my family members about this, helping them figure out processes as well is important. When I think about supportive care. I think about care that is very patient-centered um, and really something that I wish for for all people. I wish that everyone I knew could benefit from supportive care. To me, supportive care is about seeing beyond the disease. So rather than, you know, checking out what's wrong with a particular organ and fixing it, supportive care is really about trying to understand the impact of the disease on the person and their life. And so one of the things I love about supportive care is the emphasis on the whole person, the understanding that in order to alleviate suffering, I have to really understand what it's like to be you.